Hello my soccer universe! I am beyond excited to making this video for two reasons. A, it is the first unpacking video with a new background which actually will a little bit show off the flexibility that I have with that one. Namely, I don't have to worry now putting up the matching jerseys, which I wouldn't have to worry before any, 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 anyway, but I'm OCD about it. And this little present here is a little treat for me having got my first paycheck from YouTube. Now, living here in Europe, it's a little bit underwhelming in the sense because in America, I would have gotten a proper paycheck. Here it's direct deposit in my banking account. So there, 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 there you go. It. And again, I have to say thank you. Thank you for being a subscriber to my channel and watching my VA videos because only that way I'm actually now able to make a teeny bit of money. It is not much and I will never ever live off that, but it is nice to maybe uh, finance myself here and there my collection, which was in a way an intention that I had when I started this journey that maybe eventually I will get to that. In any case, based on that, I decided to treat myself with something special. I found a shirt on Wilhaben. It has been hanging around there for a while and it was initially 40 then the price dropped to 30 and you know i made an offer um, you know can you throw in free shipping and i'll get it uh, because it's really really a nice it's a nice shirt i would like to get we kind of met a little bit in the middle uh, he ch uh, the seller chose a slightly cheaper shipping method that is nice Honestly, it's a really old jersey, a jersey that will fit very well uh, with one of the scarves here in the background, which is an added bonus, which when I ordered, I didn't know that already, uh, or when I uh, bought it. And I actually asked a few of my, my, my buddies, what, what, what do you think? Is this legit? Because it, it, it just seems too good to be true. I did a whole lot of sleuthing on the internet and I think this is the real deal. It is so close and I still have to make a proper uh, grail list and I will definitely make a video about that in the future. Boy, this guy has put a lot of tape around it. Uh, but this one is so close. So close to one of my grail shirts that I can already tell you. And you will see it in a sec second. It's also uh, the first shirt of the team with this supplier that I have and this is 25 years old meanwhile yep oh. <laughs> I gotta say when this team was with that supplier this was probably the nicest shirt unfortunately it was not unfortunately it was not the most uh, successful one uh, especially given what happened uh, at the competition that this was worn, so you already know it is a national team jersey. I think this is absolutely legit. Let me show you. It's the Italy 96 jersey, the home jersey. Um, my first Italy Nike jersey is all the first one with this logo, and now you see why so close because the Italy 94, which also had had this logo, is the one I'm listing after. Um, it is blank on the back. And now let me demonstrate to you why I think this will now very fit very well on the background because we're gonna put it there on the wall and talk a little bit more about it. So there you go. It's an idea that I totally didn't steal from anyone. Hello, Dan. <laughs> it was actually I always admired how you when you unpack, you can put it. Uh, I can only hang it there, and you see it fits very nicely with the Italy scarf that, that I have because it's from the same uh, time. I gotta say, I mean, I this is also my first jersey with that particular color, and I have to have to say for Italy, uh, having the white with a little uh, white with little gold accents on there, I always really liked this shirt. Unfortunately, Italy didn't do well at those Euros, uh, mainly because Saki overthought himself a little bit too much. But the shirt itself was an absolute screamer. I think they even won. Was it the same year or the year after at Wembley? Uh, um, with a Zola goal, if I, I remember. So there's a little bit of a success, but then, you know, that qualification, England ended up winning the group, Italy had to go through the playoffs, 
beating Russia. Uh, so yeah, it was not the greatest period for Italy. Uh, however, it is also part of one of the greatest commercials when, you know, a goalkeeper for Italy is the easiest job in the world when uh, with uh, Paolo Maldini on there. Uh, this jersey for me also screams in a way Maldini because it was the first one he was wearing three for Italy. Uh, and also because my the smaller one of my my brass had a T-shirt that was based on this design, of course, with Maldini. Now the front looks very classy. Yes, the players did not wear it uh, with the Italy uh, uh, with the um, Nike swoosh, and of course the authentic uh, attack down there was also happening. So this uh, de de definitely a replica, but I think it really really looks the part. Let's turn it around. And of course, the big feature is that on the tail it says Italia, which never caught on, but I always thought it was a nice uh, touch uh, in that case. Um, not sure if it's needed. I, to be honest, I always admired the German Bundesliga teams for putting the team name on the back of, of, of the shirt. I always, always thought this was a nice, nice, nice touch. It never caught on for national teams. Now we have flags all over. Uh, namely, I think it's down to because uh, many nations have long names, but Italia is short and sweet and here on the bottom, I, I think it really, really lo looks nice. I have to say, really, really pleased with that one. A little bit proud of myself as well, although the credit should go all to you uh, <laughs> for me a, be able to treat myself to a nice little jersey there. So yeah, uh, that's now my 11th Italy jersey. Um, there is one that I definitely would like to have. This, I think, goes straight up among my favorites, I have to say, um, because it looks it looks class, classy, but still has a slight modern touch. I think this is one of the 90s that hasn't aged that badly, maybe with the color. So yeah, let me know what you think about this uh, jersey and how you like how I can do now my unpacking videos if I choose to do, do so. The fun thing is that I also got another 96 jersey for a fellow subscriber and friend of the channel, Matt, but you will have to watch this on his channel uh, probably in a few weeks from now because it has to go the postal way, but also a real, real classic, so I don't want to spoil too much. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.